The Premier Inn, the UK's number one biggest and most popular hotel brand in the country, where a good night's sleep is guaranteed and prices make you rest easy. With a BSI rating of 88.7, I don't even know what that means. This major chain has over 800 hotels around the UK. In today's video, I'm going to be avoiding the comfort of a purple colored room and swap it out for my own green colored house on wheels as I stealth camp in one of their car parks. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is absolutely freezing. We are back for the next few months to whip out some good, fun, enjoyable, entertaining videos back in the van stealth camping. Over the last year and a half, I've been converting this van, which was a builder's van, into what is now a beautifully converted camper van and my home on wheels, which I've been living in on and off for the last couple of months. In today's video, we are gonna be testing out to see if I can get away with living eating, sleeping, shitting, and doing everything inside this van at a hotel car park. Don't ask me why, but for months I've been uh, fantasizing about staying in my van at this Premier Inn, which we're gonna go to right now. It's a bloody 40 mile an hour limit and you're going 30. Shakira, Shakira. So, as we all know, before any good stealth camp happens, we obviously got to buy some food. Why am I parking like an idiot? That is some horrendous parking lot. Yeah. Tell you what, we are absolutely sorted. We're going to be having a feast tonight. 21 minutes away? I thought it was much closer than that. Jesus. Welcome to Premier Inn Hotel for the night. <laughs> Customer and guest car park charges apply or registration required. Oh god, I'm a sad, sad bastard. Let's park up and then we'll have a uh, We'll have a think about what to do for the parking. God, it's quite a big car park. It's bloody hell. It's empty. For those of you that don't know, Premier Inn is probably one of the UK's most popular chain hotels. It's pretty basic, pretty standard. It's not particularly nice. It's not particularly bad. It's just one of those ones that's in the middle. I'm just going to park here for the time being and uh, just so I can show you what's going on with the parking situation. It's saying there it's a camera controlled car park. Premier Inn guests, please register your vehicle at one of the tablets at reception when you arrive. Guests must leave by 1 p.m. I was just about to say, I haven't seen anything about a fine, but uh, I can see one there. It says parking charges will be 85 pounds. Yeah, basically I'll get an 85 pound car parking fine if I either don't register my vehicle or pay for parking. Now, at a lot of these places that I've stealth camped at before, they usually have cameras. There are cameras, but uh, I don't know. They don't seem to be scattered everywhere. Oh shit. Oh, helps if I put the van in reverse, not in first. <laughs> what am I doing? There's another van just here. I'm wondering if I go in this back corner. Welcome to home for the night. This isn't usually how I would like to do things. Usually I quite like uh, blocking as many entrances and viewpoints into the van as possible. But I want to have my van facing forward so that if for whatever reason somebody comes and says you can't park here, I can just drive straight off instead of having to reverse and muck about with all of that. As always, this is the setup for tonight. The van, the home on wheels, absolutely love it. And over there is Premier Inn and right now, we are just in the big car park that they've got here for customers. Location wise, this Premier Inn, which I'm at right now, 
you have a beef eater right next door you've got obviously the main actual premier in hotel you've got chessington world of adventures which was rammed last week because of kids school holidays and you've got a main road right beside me which i'm hoping is going to get a little bit quieter obviously the later we get into this evening hello um sorry i didn't check online i was just wondering how much is it for a night here can i be a fully booked you're fully booked fully tonight booked. really fully booked, yeah. oh wow okay yeah. how much is it normally do you think normally, just for future reference 80 pounds 80 pounds okay on which day you okay cool cheers thank you bye-bye okay. go turns out even if i wanted to stay at the premier in tonight i wouldn't be able to anyway because it is fully booked i can't believe that i'm very surprised because the car park is pretty much empty looks like i've got no choice but to stay in the van it's going to be interesting because this is the car park now so give it a few hours when it probably gets to around eight o'clock if it's fully booked i'm obviously expecting all of this to be rammed for the moment though i am going to shut up shop and uh get stealth mode activated so i can do what i want inside here Hey, yeah, yeah. I think we're ready to get some food on the go. On the menu tonight, we are going to be cooking something a little bit different. Garlic bread, white lasagna sauce, red lasagna sauce, some chicken meats, some lasagna sheets, some mixed vegetables, some Italian style herbs, some mozzarella and some cheese. If you haven't guessed what I'm cooking, then you probably need to go to the doctors and get yourself checked out because obviously <laughs> I'm going to be cooking lasagna. But as I said, with a bit of a twist, because usually, obviously, with a classic British lasagna, you have beef. But I've gone off beef recently, uh, not recently, within the last year or so, or I consume and eat a lot less of it. So uh, I love, absolutely love chicken mince. So I thought today, let's try and actually make a lasagna with chicken mince, and I'm sure it's still gonna taste absolutely delicious. And then some garlic bread to top it all off. Wow, I cut that in half very well, didn't I? You can always tell you're on a slope when the oil goes to one side of the pan. As always, that is a hell of a lot of food for one person. I might have to start selling this outside the van. What's the biggest oven tray I've got? Oh dear, I hope it's all gonna fit in that. Truth be told, I haven't made a lasagna in years. So I cannot even remember camera just dropped i haven't made a lasagna in years so i cannot even remember the order of the ingredients whether it's the pasta sheets on the base then the mince then more pasta sheets it doesn't really matter because it's all gonna work and cook together but uh if you know what the right order of a proper italian lasagna is let me know in the comments is this clean that's the first question bit of dust nothing like a bit of dust didn't kill anyone did it i think we are gonna go for a little bit of mince on the bottom oh shit oh shit mince oh shit mince is going everywhere oh bollocks in hell that is the first layer now i'm gonna go with pasta sheets on top just 
Then we're gonna go with a bit of white lasagna sauce in this middle bit. We're just gonna smudge that around a bit. La -di -di, la -di -da, la -di -di, la -di -da. Mate, I've never cooked such a meal like this in here before. In with mozzarella, spread that about. <laughs> baby, baby, baby! This is gonna be so good. Now I'm just gonna repeat the process. Oh, baby. Not quite like Jamie Oliver, am I? But we'll get there one day. A bit of salt or pepper and a bit of a mixed herbs Provence just to top it off. Wow. 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 There is no denying that this lasagna is going to be, hopefully, I hope anyway, the best meal that I've cooked in here. That looks bloody delicious, although extremely filling, fattening and uh, high in calories. But uh, hey ho, I'm a skinny bastard, so I can put this food away and I won't put on any weight. It doesn't get much better than this. Stealth camping in a Premier Inn car park. Right outside is the hotel. Inside the van, I've cooked up, hopefully, what will be a stupendous lasagna. We've got Champions League football on tonight. This, my friends, is what dreams are made of. We've definitely got a few more guests out in the car park. It is getting a lot, a lot busier. Uh, outside and I've also got a new neighbor who obviously didn't know what I was cooking inside here Otherwise, I'm sure I would have got a knock on the door I can confirm that isn't the right time on the clock by the way What is going on with this clock? 20 minute timer Is it gonna work? There we go. Oh my goodness. When I tell you that this looks spectacular, that is no exaggeration. It looks that good that I actually forgot to put the garlic bread in. Just don't spill it. Oh God. Oh my wow, a flipping weaver. <laughs> That looks incredible. If anybody's wondering how long that took, that was half an hour for this lasagna in the oven to brown up. Look at that. Just gonna wait for uh, that to cook up. That can cool down for 10 minutes. And then this can get in my belly and lasagna for breakfast, lunch and dinner, it is. garlic bread done nothing quite like a warm hot meal which is hearty and I was about to say healthy but we all know that's not correct it's raining it's windy outside and I'm gonna tuck in everything's bloody boiling shouldn't touch it out oh wow 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 oh my god it's the simple things in life that make you happy and I need to get some bigger plates. Bon appetit, everybody. I hope you taste this with me through the screen. my oh my oh my it is absolutely pouring it down with rain and i can definitely see why the guy said it's fully booked tonight because the car park is now pretty much full i've got people either side of me a van to the right a van to the left and yeah that car park is chock-a-block there's something very therapeutic and nice about staying in the van when it rains and it's disgusting and horrible outside because inside here is nice and warm and toasty Some 
Match day one of the Champions League, the starting point. Oh god. I've turned the heater on too much. It's bloody boiling in here. Chelsea now score two before half-time, first through Sterling, who ended his run without a goal. Tell you what, the rain absolutely hammered it down last night and it's still not stopping even this morning. As you can see the car park is pretty much empty. Everybody has left, gone to work I assume and uh, I was having a bit of a line I have to say. Woke up about 8 o'clock, chucked the heater on because it was a mild 13-14 degrees in here. Got the temperature up to about 20 degrees and thought it's time to get up. That's the thing I love about the van, that uh, not like in a home, I've pretty much got instant heat to warm up this space and this area. So when you get out of bed, it's nice and cozy. Well, after what I would call a very, very successful stealth camp in the Premier Inn car park, it's time to depart. A good, solid night's sleep, an absolutely unbelievable chicken lasagna, a night of watching the football, a night of listening to the rain, doesn't get much better than that. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please make sure to give the video a like. Please make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weird, wacky, and wonderful van adventures. If you want to pick yourself up a stealth mode hoodie, t-shirt, or some merchandise, then I will leave a link to that in the description. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next week with another video. Also, let me know in the comments where else you want to see me stealth camp.